Hey guys, it's Becky from thecookierookie.com and today I'm sharing one of my very favorite easy breakfast recipes, my croissant french toast casserole. This casserole has it all. You can make it the night before. It has fresh fruit, cream cheese, sugar, croissants, and it's so easy. It's awesome for serving a crowd, especially for the holidays coming up. Nothing's better than the ultimate Christmas morning breakfast. Let's get started. I'm gonna start by creaming eight ounces cream cheese with a fourth cup sugar, and this is just gonna be the filling for our croissants. This recipe is really simple, and you don't wanna to add too much to it. A little bit goes a long way. Okay, once you have the cream cheese and the sugar creamed together, we're gonna to stuff our croissants to make our French toast casserole. I'm just using cream cheese and sugar because I want this to be really simple and for the flavors to really shine through for the strawberries and the blueberries. So yummy. So we'll just take this. I've already sprayed this nine by 13 pan with nonstick spray. We're gonna load up our croissants and stuff them into the pan. These croissants are a little bigger than what I would normally use. You're just gonna use as many as you need to stuff the pan. I found it's about 10 to 12 croissants depending on the size and the more the better. You want them really close together. So we are ready to stuff our croissants and we're gonna stuff this with the cream cheese mixture as well as fresh fruit. You can use whatever fruit you like, but I love strawberries and blueberries. Just take about a tablespoon of cream cheese, spread it into the inside of the croissant, and then we're gonna layer with strawberries. I found it's about one strawberry per croissant. These croissants are a little big like I mentioned, so I'm using a little bit more for each one of these. Fold it up and place it in your pan. And we're gonna repeat with all the croissants. So we're almost done, one more to go. And like I said, you can use any fruit that you like. Peaches would be really good if you're making this a different time of year or even apple cinnamon. Get creative with it. I love to change up recipes that I find on the internet. So feel free to change mine up as well. Let me know what you make, I'd love to hear about it. Okay. Fit this in. You can see it's pretty tight and honestly I could even add a couple more croissants if I had them. You want them really really tightly packed in there. Now we're gonna make our filling. So I'll set this aside. Our filling's really simple as well. We're just going to use six eggs. Go ahead and crack those. And this is what helps to make it that French toast casserole that you hear about. This is gonna soak overnight. All the bread will soak up all these good juices and then when it's baked, it'll be fluffy and delicious. I'm not a morning person, so any recipe I can find that helps me sleep in a little bit longer and still feed the crowd is my kind of recipe. We're gonna use some heavy cream. Maple syrup for a little bit of sweetness and you can also use maple syrup when serving as well. And of course, vanilla. Give things a little bit of good spice. We're gonna use some cinnamon too. Give this a good whisk. Once everything is whisked together, we're just gonna pour over our croissants and it's okay if it looks pretty full, it's gonna all bake together. So just pour over, try to get all the croissants. Our goal is for them to soak overnight all the eggs and cream and goodness. And the last step is we're gonna sprinkle blueberries on the top. And then as they bake up, they'll burst and there'll be tons of fruit juices everywhere. It's so delicious. Okay, we're ready to cover this and put it in the fridge overnight and then we'll cook it in the morning. Okay, in the morning when you wake up late and you're ready to serve your guests, heat in a 375 degree oven, you are gonna love this recipe. For the sake of having one done to show you what it looks like, we've gone ahead and made one ahead of time and I can tell you, I cannot wait to eat it. Every croissant is stuffed with cream cheese and sugar. There's fresh fruit, blueberries, strawberries, and the sky's the limit with how you can customize. Hop over to thecookierookie.com for the full details.